Ciao friends and welcome to a new video from SQL BI. In this video, I want to talk about the difference between two functions in the whole family of DAX. Now, DAX offers you a lot of functions that starts with all, all, all no blank row, all selected, all except. But in this video, I want to focus only on two of them, which are all and all cross filter. The difference is that all removes all the filters from the expanded table that you pass it as an argument, whereas all cross filter removes uh, the filters from all the columns that are cross filtering the table you pass it as an argument. Now, if you are not familiar with expanded tables, uh, I recorded a video and wrote articles about that. There will be a link in the article for this video. So take a look at that before watching this video because understanding what table expansion is uh, is quite relevant in order to understand the difference between all and all cross filter. And just before we start, the name all cross filter is unfortunate because uh, that is not what the function is doing. The function is actually removing filters from all the columns that are cross filtering the current table. So the right name should have been all cross filtering. However, it is what it is. It has been named all cross filter. With all that said, with no further ado, let's take a look at the demo in order to understand the difference between these two functions. I'm going to work with our usual contours model that contains uh, several tables, but I want to focus only on two tables, which are product and sales. Now, product and sales, uh, they are linked through a relationship. So there is a relationship one to many linking product and sales. And this is just a regular relationship, a relationship created using the import mode of Power BI. Using this uh, model, I can create, I created already two measures. The first one computes all sales. What does all sales do? It uses calculator, the number of sales. This is just a count rows of the number of rows in sales, doing all sales. All sales removes uh, the filter from all the columns of sales, but not only sales, the expanded sales. And it happens that expanded sales includes both sales and product because the relationship goes many to one from sales to product. So doing all on sales removes filter from product too. Therefore, if I create my all sales measure and I place a filter, for example, in the on the product brand, you see that number of sales returns the number of rows in sales, number of all sales returns all the rows in sales, because that removes the filter not only from sales, but also from product. Then I created a different measure, all cross filter sales, that does exactly the same. Calculate number of sales, all cross filter sales. If I look at the result, it is absolutely identical. 13,000 and something and 13,000 and something on the other side. The thing is, right now, all is removing the filter from the entire expanded table because uh, sales expands to product. However, table expansion works only with regular relationships. If I create a limited relationship, table expansion is not going to happen. And in order to demonstrate this, I'm just going to change this relationship and move it from a many-to-one to a many-to-many -many relationship. A many-to-many cross-filter relationship is going to be a limited relationship, and we want product to filter sales. So we're doing a many-to-many cross-filter direction product filter sales. As soon as I save it, if you look here, you see that now we have these two tiny holes on both sides of the relationship. Those identify the relationship as being limited, meaning that sales no longer expands to product. And if I look at the report right now, you see that there are differences. All sales now returns the very same value of sales, whereas all cross-filter sales still return 13,000. Why does this happen? Because all sales removes the filter from all sales, that is the all expanded version of sales, and it happens that sales does not expand to product. So removing a filter from sales does not remove a filter from product. Whereas uh, the version that uses all cross filter uses all cross filter that you should read as all cross filtering. Therefore, it's removing the filter from any column that is cross filtering the current table sales. Therefore, because product 
is cross-filtering sales through a limited relationship, it happens that all cross-filter returns the expected behavior. Now, be reminded, expect depends on your expectations. If you need to remove the filter from all the columns that are cross-filtered in the current table, then all cross-filter is the right function to use. But if you don't, then all is absolutely fine. Before leaving the topic, I want to show you another example that is slightly more subtle, because in this scenario we had to change the relationship. It was a regular one-to-many relationship and we move it to a limited relationship. But the thing is, limited relationship, they might appear in your model for several reasons. It might be a many-to-many -many cardinality relationship, as in the demo that we have just seen, but it might be the case that there are two tables on two different data islands, and also in that case, the relationship will be limited. Or, and I think this is going to be more common, you might create a composite model. A composite model can link two tables in two different islands. Therefore, the relationships will be limited. And if you rely on all in that scenario, then the code will produce wrong results. In order to show you this, I created a composite model. Let's take a look at the model. Uh, the model contains uh, the same contours model. You see all the blue tables are the tables uh, coming from the composite model. But then I created another table uh, in layout one, which is interesting brands. Now, what does interesting brand contains? Interesting brands contains uh, all the brands. Uh, let me see. Okay. And for each brand, I compute the sales. Then I compute the brand class, which can be above average or below average, depending on the current value of sales. If the sales is above the average, then we classify it as above average. Otherwise, it's below. And then we have the investment percentage. You see that uh, when the row is above average, it's 3%. When it is below average, it's just 1%. The idea is that uh, we want to invest that amount, the percentage of the sales amount, in order to promote the brand. And we spend more on the brands that sell more, of course. Based on this uh, uh, additional table that I created in my composite model, I want to compute the amount of investment and then the percentage of the amount against the total investment I will perform the next year. So I start creating my report. I place uh, the brand class from uh, uh, my interest in brands table. I place, place the brand and then I compute the sales amount. So far, there is nothing complicated. This is just a composite model working. But then I need to compute the marketing investment. In order to compute it, I need to take the current brand in the interesting brand table and multiply by the sales amount. That's not complex to do. I can write, I can create my marketing investment. Uh, I just need to do a sum x over the interesting brands, and then I compute the interesting brands investment percentage times the sales amount. And that's it. Let me format it as a decimal number. Then we place the number in the matrix and we get our result. For Adventure Works, we are going to spend $69,000 and so on. So we have uh, uh, 247 million for uh, above average and only 20 million below average. That's not uh, a complex calculation. But now I want to compute the percentage of this value against 267. I want to compute for each brand the percentage against the total investment over all the brands. And that's just a pattern that I can write. I write uh, uh, investment percentage and I just divide my marketing investment by calculate the marketing investment and then I can do all on what? Well, I can do all on sales because I want to remove the filter from any column that is filtering sales. You probably have used a pattern like this uh, multiple times uh, because it works. It's just a standard way of computing percentages. I place the percentage sign here, but as you are going to see, this is not going to work. If I drop it in my matrix, uh, that is going to show 100% everywhere. Why did it happen? Well, because uh, removing, from, removing a filter from sales, I need to add sales here to 
show the complete path. Removing a filter from sales removes the filter from the expanded version of sales. Now, sales includes product because of the relationship between sales and product is a regular relationship. But then, product does not expand to interesting brands because, and I need a bit more space here, okay? The relationship between product and interesting brand is a limited relationship. Therefore, doing all on sales does not remove a filter on interesting brands. How do I fix that? Well, at this point of the video, that should be pretty simple to understand. I cannot use all, I need to use all cross filter. Using all cross filter, all these numbers that right now show 100% are going to compute the correct percentage. And now you see my investment shows a percentage of uh, the current value divided by the grand total. So in this scenario, the difference between all and all cross filter is kind of relevant. So an interesting question at this point would be, well, but should we always use all or should we, all, should we always use all cross filter? I know you love rules. I know you would like to know exactly how not to make mistakes, but there's no answer, unfortunately. Um, to keep it things simple, if you are working with an import model where all the relationships are just regular relationship, then the difference does not matter at all. Because all and all cross filter, they do exactly the same operation, except some border case scenarios which are not relevant at all. But if you are working with composite model, if you are working with a complex model where multiple data islands exist, or if you are using many-to-many -many relationship, then using all cross filter, in my opinion, should be your default option because uh, that removes all the filters in a more intuitive way. So why do we use all rather than all cross filter in all our articles and videos? Uh, it's habits. We started using all. All actually works in most of the scenarios, so we just use it and we are happy. But the thing is, uh, if uh, you ever face a problem with a percentage that is not computing correctly the number and uh, there are limited relationships, uh, there is likely that you need to use all cross filter rather than all. So do not rush in changing your code in order to remove all the references to all with all cross filter. Use it only when needed, knowing that you need to use it because of a limited relationship somewhere in your model. Enjoy that! <laughs>